Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see one of the coding problem which is nothing but magic number or not. Now see what is a magic number is all about. A number is said to be a magic number if the recursive sum of the digit up to single digit will be equal to 1. For example, you take it the 90. What is the sum of the digits? 1 plus 9. So you got as 10, right? 10 is not a single digit number. So perform sum of digits again. 1 plus 0. You got as 1. So as you know, 1 is a single digit number and the sum of the recursive sum of digits for a given number is equal to 1. So that we can say that 19 is a magic number. For example, take this sum 203. It's this number. Now sum of the digits is what? 2 plus 0 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Now as you can observe, 5 plus 3, 8, 10, 14. 14 is not a single digit number. Perform sum of digits again. 1 plus 4. You got as 5. As you can see here, you got the single digit number, but this single digit number is not equal to 1. So this is not a magic number. Now let's see how we are going to do this. In order to do this, first we need to check whether the given number is a single digit or not, right? If the given number is a single digit, then we can print it directly. If the given number is not a single digit, then what we will do? We will find the sum of digits, right? We will find the sum of digits and we will check whether the sum of digits is a single digit or not. If it is a single digit, we will check whether the sum is equal to 1 or not. If sum is equal to 1, then it is a magic number. If the sum is not equal to 1, then it is not a magic number. If the sum of the digits is not a single digit number, which is nothing but it is more than one digit, then in that case, what we will do? We will again start the process of finding sum of digits with that sum. Okay. Now let me show you how to do that. Observe here, first we need to take a number, right? Int n. And let me write a message. Print of enter the number. Now the user was prompted to write a number, right? To give a number. Now I need to read that number. Scan of percentage d comma ambient of n. I read that number, right? Now what I need to do? I will take a variable called sum, okay? Let me initialize the sum value. Let me take a sum and see here. Sum is nothing but I am calculating, I am calling a function called sum of digits. Sum of digits is the function I am going to call with that given number, right? Now what will happen? See, if I got the sum of the digits, see, sum of the digits is less than sum of the digits is greater than right see here if the sum of the digits is a greater than what 9 then we can say that what if the sum of the digits is greater than 9 means what it means the number the sum of the digits is a not a single digit right if it is not a single digit what i need to take I need to call again sum of digits with that number, right? Sum of digits function I need to call with the previous sum I need to take. And I need to initialize this to number. Done. See here, sum of the digits of sum, you again call it. Which means what? You get, again get the sum of the digits, right? Now let me take here sum of the digits again. Sum. Now let me check, let me write a function here. It will return integer. The function name is sum of digits. And it will take an integer parameter. And now let me take an integer sum equal to 0. And uh, let me take some variables as digit. Now observe here, while 
x is greater than 0 I need to extract the digit right digit equal to x mod 10 means I extracted the digit and I need to add the digit to the sum variable sum equal to sum plus digit and then what I need to do I need to change the n value for next iteration n equal to n by 10 which means here x right x equal to x by 10 so by iterating over this loop the sum will hold the sum of the digits of x okay now i will return the sum what will happen means let me take the first time if i take a 19 19 will be passed here sum of the digits will be returned means what the sum value will be 1 plus 9 sum value will be 10 right now it will be checked here your sum is greater than 10 9 which means what it is a a two digit number it is more than a single digit number in that case i will again call sum of digit operation on to the sum which is nothing but to this 10 now see i will get 10 plus 0 means 1 now see here 1 is greater than 0 and sum is uh, sum is 1 is greater than 0 no 1 is greater than 9 no which means what whenever we got a single digit number this condition will definitely fail and it will come out and I will print the sum then okay now see here here observe if the sum value is equal to the one I will print a message the given number the given number n right is magic number right now see what was that the number is n now again else which means what it is not a magic number print f the given number is the given number is not a magic number now see here let me save this code execute there are no errors it was executing fine let me give a number 19 the given number 19 is a magic number why it was a magic number as you can see when i pass 19 i got sum as 10 but here it is a two digit number so i again perform sum of digits on to the two digit number 10 you got the sum as one so it is a one digit number you stop your process and check whether the sum is equal to one or not now let me do it one more time let me execute it one more time give me as a number like this the given number is not a magic number right uh, for that i will print the sum here sum value is You can see the same thing. Let me execute it. Yeah, let me give the previous case 19. See, the given number is magic number. Why? The sum of the recursive sum of its digits up to single digit is one, right? Now the similarly the previous case again I'm going to run 20345 right see the sum we got as 5 here just like the sum we got as 5 in this case just like that we did it programmatically and in this way you need to practice the problems related to numbers please do like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.